Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Kevin Connors. Welcome to another episode of Dr. Connors Live. Today's episode, we have uh, Brian Morgan. Now, Brian's not a doctor, um, which is kind of nice. So it's good to have some uh, pieces of advice from real people out there in the field that are living their life and trying to get healthy and see the results that they've uh, received, you know, doing you know, you know, a healthy approach to life. Um, so today's episode is great. Brian Morgan is our guest. Um, again, he's not a health professional. He doesn't have a bunch of letters behind his name. Um, but the value that he brings to the show is really his personal testimony and his experience with uh, a few of my favorite products that we use in our clinic for our patients. Uh, and personally, I use. That's why I'm having him talk because it's I have a lot of personal experience with the products that he has. He also happens to be my cousin. And he was uh, introducing me to his product line because he knew that I'd be interested in it. And I know you're going to be interested in it as well. So let's listen to Brian. Also, don't forget to hit like. That helps us. It helps other people see our video as well. And if you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and hit that little alarm notification button so that you don't miss any new episodes. Thanks so much. Again, this is Dr. Kevin Connors. Thanks for joining us, Brian Morgan. Brian, uh, give us a little background on you. I mean, I'm very familiar with you, obviously, but let's hear, um, you know, kind of your story, how you got involved in nutrition and why you did. Well, well, it's interesting, Dr. Kevin, because I thought in my 20s that I knew quite a bit. In my 40s, I learned that I didn't know anything. You know, I was the guy... Um, who was in the gym four or five days a week and a, a GNC gold card member and, you know, buying the tubs of protein and gaining the muscle and, and thinking that that meant I was healthy. Um, but the more I learned about the toxic chemicals and, you know, even these products that are supposed to be healthy, uh, the more I learned uh, in my late 30s and 40s, the more I was actually shocked at products that were out in the market space that truly are a product for profit as opposed to a product to, to help people. And, you know, I kind of found wait, that wait, out. Wait, I, have to, I have to interrupt. You mean, are you telling me that nutritional companies are out for profit <laughs> <laughs> and not I the mean, best interest of the individual? Yeah. And of course, every company has to have a profit or they can't stay in business, but there's a difference between bringing quality and bringing value to the market space to earn a profit as opposed to say bringing marketing, with very little value to the to the human being or to the end user is the big difference. And yeah, I, I was shocked. You know, it's almost uh, I was shocked that there weren't more governing bodies or more quality control in nutrition. And like you said, for 20 years, I more or less participated blindly until I had uh, you know more intelligent or uh, more educated people in my life that actually informed me of you know, what is of true value in the health and nutrition world, you know, value in education and value in product as well. Okay. So now you're involved with a company. So let's make that known. Um, a great company. We use several of your products. Tell me a little bit about that. So my wife and I were introduced to Evolve Health and we've been really excited and, and really proud to be partnered with that brand for over seven and a half years, but it truly started out of necessity. Um, so what had happened for me is, you know, my background has always been a tradesman. You know, when I was young, I, I fell in love with aviation and travel and I became a commercial jet mechanic when I was 20 years old. Um, so I had an 18 year career in commercial aviation and that career changed. And, um, you know, a lot of the U S aircraft that legally had to be maintained in the U S are now maintained all over the world because there's no longer those regulations in place. But, you know, don't feel bad for me when my career at Northwest Northwest airlines ended in 2005, I had already started a construction company. I was already prepared for that. And my construction company exploded in a good way. Um, so I always had, uh, something to fall back on just, uh, having the ability as a crafts person to uh, you know, work hard uh, with my back and with my hands, but working hard with my back and with my hands 
put me in a really tough spot. You know, when the construction industry imploded in 2008, 2009, I found myself as a mechanic in a steel mill uh, in 2011. Great job, great benefits, but once again, I was using my back, my, my body, my hands to make a living, and um, it took its toll. It took its toll in a big way, and you know, all the inflammation in my body, all the injuries I sustained over 20 plus years of being a tradesperson, it, they took its toll in a big, big way, and it, it got to a point where I couldn't even get through a shift of work without consuming 20 Advil every single day. And 20, my, 20 Advil a day just to decrease the inflammation from abusing your body in a, in a good way, a, wor a strong work ethic, um, wanted to provide for your family, but uh, takes its toll on your joints. A absolutely. And I've met so many people like me, crafts men, crafts women, um, that have given up our health for our careers. And I was, I was going down that path. And, you know, we weren't, you know, my, my wife has been in health and wellness her entire life. So she was guiding me along the way. She had, you know, quite an education, but even with a, you know, anti-inflammatory, low sugar diet, working aggressively with our chiropractor. You know, I was getting acupuncture three times a week on my feet and ankles, uh, cold laser therapy three times a week, and uh, even went through three types of orthopedic inserts in my work boots. Uh, the last pair were $800 that were custom cut for my foot and for my work boot. And all of those things we did let did it lead me to any type of solution whatsoever. It was still 20 Advil every single day for five months straight. But in addition to that, it was 20, or I should say for five months straight, it was my wife yelling at me <laughs> every day because she knew sooner or later that was going to lead to something worse. Um, you know, things that you know, uh, Dr. Kevin, that I never knew is how uh, horrific, uh, say, a, an Advil could be over time. You know, what I, what I didn't realize is that an NSAID, you know, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, you know, what I learned is just one of them could increase a woman's chance of miscarriage by 80%. Yeah, well, you're doing your, doing your due diligent damage on your liver, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, so 20 a day, I, I, I uh, you know, my, as my wife uh, would yell at me, I... Uh, it's kind of one of those things where until uh, until you hear something enough, it, you just don't get it. And uh, as I got yelled at daily, uh, I wasn't getting educated. I was just getting yelled at. So I didn't know how bad it was. Um, so she was in a, she did know how bad it was. And she was in an absolute panic because she knows what that could lead to. Um, you uh, obviously you have much more experience with it than I do, but I imagine when you know twenty Avil a day isn't helping somebody anymore. And for me, it was a situation where I was in I was a mechanic in a steel mill, and I had to do maintenance rounds every single shift. So I'd have to walk on concrete, uh, and I'm six foot four, two hundred forty pounds, and all that pressure on my feet took its toll. Um, but I was saving for my wedding, I was saving for my honeymoon and wedding rings, and. You know, as anyone else, you give up that health for, for more hours and, and more money, and, and that's, uh, that's what I did. But, um, you know, fortunately, my wife was, ex or my fiance at the time, my wife today, was very aggressive trying to find a solution, reaching out to so many different friends across all of the, the USA. Um, and, and the solution she ended up finding was anti-inflammatory and all natural. My wife is all about uh, eating clean and, and natural products. And when she found a product that she thought might work, um, you know, she brought it to our home. So this was seven and a half years ago, and the product is limitless. And you might get into more of the science of that, Dr. Kevin, or, you, or, or, or I could add some of it. But the bottom line was this was a natural product that my wife knew couldn't hurt me. Uh, it was guaranteed to reduce inflammation uh, by 47% within 90 minutes. Uh, and the studies had been proven uh, uh, about that. And... Uh, for me, 14 days into it, I was getting ready for work on the 15th day, and my wife says, hey, how do your feet feel today? And I said, they feel great. She says, did you take 20 Advil yesterday? And I said, I didn't take any. I just didn't even realize it over 14 days, the inflammation um, decreased so much in my body, and especially in my feet. That was my biggest challenge was my feet and ankles. Well, let's Lim talk a little bit about that. what you discovered. So the Limitless is, uh, is, a, is the brand name 
of a patented process on how beets are processed so that the enzyme, the betalin enzyme is, is produced from the beets. Um, and that's the really active uh, anti-inflammatory uh, very strong for you, important to help heal the liver as well. Um, we use it a lot for patients with uh, any cancer that's metastasized to the liver, uh, any cancer that's causing pain uh, because it's such a strong anti-inflammatory. That's what there, I know the company's really pushing it just as a straight anti-inflammatory for pain. Um, and of course, they're trying to be very careful in what they're making claims, which I really appreciate with this company. They're not making these extraordinary claims. But when you hear testimonies like this going from 20 Advil a day to zero by taking a natural anti-inflammatory that's also going to help your liver, uh, pretty amazing story right there. Uh, which should make anybody try this product that has you know, ongoing pain of any sorts. Uh, uh, so you started taking this, you dropped your Advil consumption down to zero or next to zero. Um, and that was how long ago? Seven years ago, you said? That was, that was about seven and a half years ago. And, you know, what I learned is that that ingredient is betalin. And there's betalin is in carrots, betalin's in red beets, betalin, there's a few ways to get betalin in your system. The challenge is you have to eat a whole lot of carrots and carrots also, also have a lot of sugar. And the same with red beet. So to get the betel in, that core ingredient that reduces that inflammation, um, to get enough of it, you'd be consuming so much sugar, you're doing yourself a disservice because whether it's beet powder, beet juice, or just the natural organic beet, fantastic. You're going to get some benefit. But Cornell University, had, it was a five-year, $5 million study to find out what was nature's number one anti-inflammatory. And it ended up being the betalin ingredient. The challenge was um, the betalin and the red beet also uh, was attached with all the sugar. And of course, sugar increases inflammation. So what Evolve Health and their partners were able to do was to, as you said, have that patent that naturally extracted the betalin ingredient from the rest of the beet, from the sugar. So in that capsule, um, just that tiny capsule, they say it's 500 cooked red beets worth of betalin without the sugar. Um, and that's the whole idea. It's, the, it's yeah. not what is the best antioxidant or anti-inflammatory in the test tube. The studies were on what was best in the human body. Um, and and I'm, I'm very thankful for that. So then what happened for me is that uh, because the inflammation released from my back and my ankles and mostly my feet, um, you know, of course, we can't make medical claims, but I was battling what the medical industry would call plantar fasciitis. And um, it was so, I mean, it literally was so painful in my feet that I was wincing in pain every step I took to do my maintenance rounds. So, you know, for, of course, what happens then is um, you're less active. Well, when you're less active, what happened for me is I gained 40 pounds of fat. Well, now you add that 40 pounds of fat onto the Weight on your feet again, oh, yeah. Yeah, so then what happened, Dr. Kevin, because my feet felt better and uh, I had more natural energy again, I got back to being active. Over the next handful of months, I lost all 40 pounds of that fat. I have not had an Advil since. Um, and, and the nicest part about it is I've been able to maintain my health. I haven't gained any weight back. I haven't. Uh, I haven't had any uh, bouts with, with pain or inflammation since. So it's been a phenomenal product for our family, you know, for seven and a half years. And with that, our family has expanded. And, you know, when our son was teething, my wife, you know, with her background in, in health and education, you know, she would just open up that capsule and put it in his, in his milk. So we didn't have to, at any time possible, my wife is going to take the natural route the challenge is sometimes a natural route, people don't think it's that effective. So what are the most effective natural ingredients or natural foods? And I know that's what you spent 30, 40 years of your career on, Dr. Kevin, is finding out what are the most impactful natural foods, ingredients, and, and solutions to people's health challenges. But until people have someone in their lives, I mean, I think most people are like me where they think they know or they kind of know some of the ideas of 
of good health, but until they put experts in their life like yourself or my wife or some of the other people that we're blessed to be in contact with, we really don't have any idea. And quite honestly, um, with all the information there is online, you think our country would be getting healthier. But from what I've read the last three years in a row, our life expectancy has actually gone down in America. Yeah. Yeah, you touched on a lot of great points there. Our life expectancy, like this generation is going to be the first generation in how many years that is going to have a shorter life expectancy than their parents. Pretty sad. Um, and it is a lot of misinformation out there and partly um, uh, maybe a lot to do with um, profit-driven companies that are not really trying to produce something that's really beneficial in the end game. It doesn't have studies behind it. Um, you know, your testimony and testimonies like this really help drive good nutrition uh, because I do think there's a lot of people that are misled and then they get um, maybe a bad taste in their mouth because something that they spent a lot of money on didn't work. Um, so when you hear great testimonials, um, that is a motivating factor. I uh, appreciate all this, Brian. We got to have you on again to talk about some of the other great products that we use um, with Evolve since you have, uh, you know, uh, testimonies yourself or heard of testimonies from your CBD product and the Evolve immune product and some of the other things too. Is there anything else you want to leave people with? Well, I would just say, you know, I was, I think in my 20s, a friend just had pointed out that our brain is like a sponge. And there's only so much we can fit in that sponge. There's only so much we can fit in our brain. If we try to do all of our, these self studies uh, ourselves, it, I don't even think we have enough room in our brains for it. That's why we put good accountants in our lives. That's why we put good holistic doctors in our lives. That's why we put good people that we can trust in education and information. And what I love what you and your staff are doing, Dr. Kevin, is is exactly that. I mean, 20, 30, 40 years of rock solid experience and education. And the best thing I've ever heard is there's just no way for any of us to know everything. So pick those experts that are on your team that are in your corner, you know, investing their entire lives to be educated um, in order to transfer that uh, to people like myself. That's what I would say is just put those great people in your life and, and, um, actually do what they recommend <laughs> that's, yeah that's the key. No matter if they have, it takes six months for your wife to dig you right <laughs> <laughs> right right exactly well praise god that that all happened and you're back on your feet and, and uh, inflammation is down great testimony we'll have you back on very soon thanks for the time that you're giving us i appreciate it and uh we will talk again Thank you very much, Dr. Kevin Connors. It's an honor and we're excited to help people all over the world with you.